Hello, this is going to be a short tutorial series on the tools found in the tool tab in Google Slides. All you have to do in order to use these tools is go to the tool menu tab and click on it. Now you have uh, the spelling option which is going to just check the spelling of your Google Slideshow. So if I hit spelling, it's going to say there are no spelling suggestions offered. Now note, if you go to view and you have show spelling suggestions off, this is why you would use this feature. So for example, if I come to example and add a bunch of Z's, you'll see that it didn't tell me it's a misspelled word because under view, I do not have show spelling suggestions enabled. But if I go to tools and I go to spelling, it's going to tell me that that word probably needs to be changed or ignored or added to the personal dictionary that I have at the bottom of my tool menu. So I'm just going to say change and do the corrections I need. Um, now, if you don't want to do it that way, you can always go to view and turn on spelling suggestions and note you'll see the spelling suggestion pop up right away and offer the same suggestion that the other one did. Now the next tool that's really nice is Explore. This basically lets you explore certain layouts for your slide or even search the web um, for certain things. So if I'm going to search for currency, I can learn more about currency on the web, kind of like a split screen. I can go to image and find images of currency. And then I can insert that image into my slideshow by going to the plus sign in the upper right corner of the image. What's nice about the currency image that I just selected in any image from Explore is that it has the link of where I found it, um, which is a really nice feature. Um, so I'm going to close the Explore button now and move on. The next thing under the tool tab that you have is define. So I can go to a word, select it, go to tools and select define. This is basically pulling up a dictionary where I can learn more about a word that I need to know about. I'm going to hit the X to close the uh, definition tool. Q and A is really nice. Um, this is basically like I showed in a previous video when you go to present um, and in present mode, you launch Q and A. When you launch Q&A in Google Slides, this is where you can offer your audience um, to ask you questions on certain slides by going to a link um, on your slideshow. So if I hit Start New, notice this link appears at the top of my slideshow and students or audience members can type in that link and ask questions that pertain to the slideshow that I'm presenting. Now what's nice about that, um, going back to my slideshow and leaving uh, the presenter view, is that I have a history of all the questions that have been asked when I did the Q&A feature with the slideshow when I presented. So that's how you can access your history of Q&A questions. Um, going down the tool tab, you have the voice typer. Now what I don't like is it's only for the speaker notes. I really wish Google would add this feature here. Now a workaround is you can copy and paste what you voice type into the text box. So for example, I go to tools, I hit uh, voice type, I click on the microphone, and I'm now typing notes down in the speaker notes section in Google Slides, period. I click on the microphone to stop it. So you could just highlight what you typed and do control C and go control V. Um, I'm sorry, go control C. And then you could just go control V and paste in the notes you just voice typed. The problem I have with that is um, sometimes people with disabilities use this feature and I would like Google to go ahead and integrate that option inside the text box field so someone who does have a disability doesn't have to do multiple functions to use this feature. Um, moving down the tools function, you have the notepad, which is a nice feature where you can just go ahead and add notes um, that are related to this slide. So whenever you open notes from Keep, you can have yourself a reminder uh, that you can look at. Um, going down to the last couple of tool ed edits, you have the script editor, which if you were to create your own code and function and your own um, add-on, this is where you could build it and run your function. I am not going to cover that one. Um, moving on to the next one is preferences. This is just key functions and uh, suggestions that you wanted to use. So like automatically capitalize, word, capitalize words, stuff like that. 
And then lastly, you have your personal dictionary where you can add words that are not misspelled words, but, you know, the program thinks they were. And once you add them, they'll no longer be a misspelled word. I hope this tutorial was helpful on all the different tools and functions you have in the tool tab. And thank you so much for watching it.